Hey everybody, it's Diane Gale from the blog SustainableSlowLiving.com and I want to talk to you today a little bit about the big summer salad. Um, we love salads in our house and we eat them several times a week. I take them to work for lunch and um, we have them for dinner and if they're in the refrigerator they're one of the first things that someone will pull out and eat. So, um, picking up pre-made salad at the grocery store is really disappointment. Um, generally you can just taste all of those preservatives and I know that I've said before that we don't really have a lot of restaurants here and you know even then when you go into a restaurant um, you just don't always get exactly what you want and a lot of times it's the same thing. A lot of the stuff that they're putting in it is just full of preservatives. Um, summer salads are even better when we get further into summer and we have fresh stuff from the garden and that is not the case right now but to me the next best thing is picking up some things at the grocery store and prepping them and having them in your refrigerator so that you're more likely to throw together your own salad so I want to show you a little bit of, of how I do that um, with the stuff that I had to do it with this week and um, then I'm gonna throw some other ingredients out there some other ideas um, for you to utilize and also prep and put in your refrigerator um, that I didn't prep this week um, and there you know there'll be a complete list in the blog because I'm sure that from memory I'm not gonna get it all I'm not gonna get it all here I won't remember it all I have a list that I keep in my phone so that I can check it when I'm at the grocery store and um, pick up the things that I'm feeling like I want that week but Basically, I cut up a big thing of, of lettuce. If you're doing romaine lettuce, you can just cut it and wash it and throw it in a container and you're ready to go. Make sure it's pretty dry when you put it in there. If you're doing iceberg lettuce, um, does anybody do iceberg lettuce anymore? If you're doing iceberg lettuce, you don't want to cut it because your edges will turn brown. Um, they will on the romaine too, but they'll take a lot longer. Um, but with the iceberg, you just want to tear it with your hands and wash it and put it in a container. And again, make sure that it's dry. This is the first container that I'm doing this week. We will probably, now that the weather is warmer, we will probably go through more than one of these. But I don't want to cut too much up ahead of time. Um, once this is gone, I'll cut up another one. And then these are the veggies that I picked up this week. And as you can <clears throat> excuse me as you can see I just chopped them up and have them ready to go I've got some celery I shredded the carrots and I shredded the um, purple cabbage because I prefer to have those shredded I just ran them through the food processor a little chopped broccoli and I was able to score some heirloom tomatoes some red and some yellow this week which I was pretty excited about because it's early in the year um, they're not fabulous they're definitely not grown out in the sunshine but they're pretty good An English cucumber and some red bell pepper um, and that will kind of that should get us through I mean you can look at this when you when you pull it out of the fridge and decide what it is you want in your salad that day and every day you're gonna have something a little different which is going to make it all that much better I find that when I don't do this when I want a salad I tend to quick cut up some lettuce I throw some tomato and cucumber on there and maybe put a protein on top chicken or tuna or shrimp and then that's it that's as far as I go and it's always a little bit disappointing because it's not really what I want what I want is a big salad with all the fixings can you hear the thunder <laughs> sorry there's a storm going on outside so you'll probably hear some of that um, hopefully the dog won't start barking because of it but anyway yeah you, you end up with something pretty disappointing a little lettuce a little tomato a little cucumber I mean that's fine but it's not a satisfying, nice, big dinner salad, particularly when you're having it for dinner or even when you're having it for lunch. So if you have all this cut up, you are way more likely to use it. Another thing that I did this week was boiled eggs. Um, I will use those throughout the week. Um, I may even snack on one or two of them. And tip, putting the baking soda in the work, er, putting in the work, putting the baking soda in the water when you boil them really does make the shells come off pretty easy. 
it's not perfect, don't fall for the hype, but it was a lot easier than many of the things that I've tried and I've been working with food for a very long time. And then onions. I love onions. I ran these through the food processor as well. Um, and I did put them in a separate container because you probably already know that if you store onions in a container with all of your other ingredients, then all of your ingredients will taste like onion. You're kind of negating having all of the different flavors, but I couldn't be without the onion. And if I don't cut it up now, I probably won't cut it up during the week. I did mostly veggies this week. Um, and that's probably just because the weather is just getting warmer up here in northern Maine and um, I'm kind of craving them. I can't wait for garden veggies to come out. But there are so many other things that you can do. Um, canned beans, kidney beans, black beans, um, cannellini beans. Um, I do canned beets. I drain canned beets and put those in the fridge. Anything that you can put in the refrigerator you are more likely to grab and put on your salad. So don't kid yourself by saying, oh, well, I'll just open a can of beans when I want them, because you probably won't. Um, open the beans, rinse the beans, put them in the refrigerator, and then you'll have them. And pro tip, at the end of the week or toward the end of the week, if the vegetables are starting to look a little bit, you know, worse for the wear, then you can toss them all in a frying pan and turn them into a stir fry. Put them over a little rice, put a, maybe a little rice noodles or even pasta if you prefer. Angel hair pasta is delicious with a little bit of sauce and you'll use them all up, no waste. Um, let's see, what other things? Cheeses. Um, I do have a little bit of, this is a blend of Parmesan Romano Asiago that I'm going to put on a salad that I'm going to make here in just a minute. Um, olives, black olives, green olives, um, back to the cheeses, blue cheese, cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, even mozzarella cheese, um, croutons, uh, the list is just endless, and like I said, I will put a full list in the blog for you so that, you know, you you have it. Um, it kind of sparks some ideas for you. And snap a picture of it with your phone and keep it with you when you go to the grocery store. It's really helpful to have it in your phone. That's what I do. But today, I'm going to put together a salad for dinner. And the reason that I'm going to do that is I want to show you how to do a really quick balsamic dressing kind of on the fly. That's really fabulous. So we're going to start with a little lettuce here. I like lettuce a lot. That's like one of my favorite parts, especially in the summer when it's fresh out of the garden. And let's see, we're going to do some tomatoes around the outside here. We're gonna make this one pretty basic, kind of maybe like a, like a chicken chef. Get some carrots in there. A little bit. And a little bit of um, shredded red cabbage. The shredded red cabbage is a little sweet. So it's pretty awesome to have. Some cucumbers around the outside. Perfect. And then we're going to do a little black olives. Maybe more than a little. Black olives are another thing I like a lot. We're going to take a boiled egg. Cut that up and put it around the outside. This is so simple and really just like a chef salad. Cheese, because what chef salad doesn't have cheese? Well, we might as well just put it on there. Yummy. Little croutons. And 
some chicken. And there it is, you guys. Dinner on a dish. So easy to do. So delicious. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, yummy. Perfect. It's quick and easy. Everything is ready to go for you. Just toss it on a dish and you're done. Okay, so let's get that salad dressing. We're going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Let's put it over the top here. Balsamic vinaigrette. If you really don't like balsamic, you can use a different vinegar, a red wine or a white vinegar. You can even use apple cider vinegar, but the balsamic is really special on this. And you want quite a little bit. You can also put some salt on this if you like. You've probably heard me say that I skip salt whenever I can, so I am not going to. A little coarsely ground black pepper. Quite a bit of dried basil. This is all I have left from my garden last year. You really want to get quite a bit of it on there. Don't be afraid to use your spices. That is what they're there for. So yeah, quite a bit. And then finally, we're going to put some lemon on there. So we'll get this cut in half. I'm going to use about half a lemon. And I'm just going to squeeze it through this strainer so that the strainer catches the, um, the seeds. Because you don't want to bite into a seed while you're eating your salad. Ooh, there's a lot of seeds in this one. And that's it, you guys. Like I said, dinner on a plate. And I'm realizing, as I'm holding this up and showing it to you, that I forgot to talk about the proteins. I know I mentioned, you know, tuna and shrimp. Steak is also great. Um, even pork is good. I usually always cook some chicken ahead of time and have the chicken on hand because that's what we use most. And there's so many ways that you can use the chicken. You can do just a grilled chicken sandwich or a grilled chicken salad like this. Um, I love to roll it in buffalo sauce and do a buffalo chicken salad. Um, I even roll it in barbecue sauce and do uh, barbecue chicken salad. It's delicious. Uh, really, there's just a lot of different things that you can do with the chicken. So, if you are watching this on YouTube, um, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified every time that I do a new video. Um, I hope that you also get a system set up for yourself for summer salads because they're fabulous and you should not miss out. And you do not need to eat the salads in the restaurants and in the stores that um, are so often pre-made and full of preservatives and I mean you can even taste the preservatives in the lettuce. So do yourself a favor, set yourself up a little system, you will eat even more greens this summer which is super good for you and it will be from scratch handmade in your own kitchen so much better for you so much tastier so it's been great having you here and i hope that i'll see you again real soon